Okay, so we're going to have a look at some statistics, and in particular, we're going to look into the uniform distribution. And what we're going to find is the raw moments of the uniform distribution. And then when we've found our formula for that, we're going to find the mean and variance from it using the rth moments associated with the mean and the variance. So, first of all, let's look at the formula for raw moments. So, we call this the expected value of x to the r. So, r is our rawth moment, e is our expected value of our x. And this is an integral which ranges from parameters from a to b where our b is larger than our a and we have f of x which is our pdf and in this to calculate our rule moments we plug in x to the power of r and integrate with respect to x. Now the uniform distribution our pdf for that which we all call our f of x is simply 1 over b minus a. Now the parameters for the uniform uh, distribution it ranges from negative infinity which is larger than our a and as our point inside our uniform distribution that we're going to be interested in and b which is also less than infinity. So our, our b is larger than our a which is very important when doing this integral otherwise we're going to have a negative value for our expected, uh, for our raw moments. Okay, so to find our raw moment for our uniform distribution, we're simply gonna plug in this one over B minus A and then integrate. So from A to B, now we don't want the, what these parameters are, this is gonna just give us our general solution. So our F of X is one over B minus A and with respect to x, and then x to the r. So instead of this one, I can just put an x to the r, or I can just put this in brackets and write x to the r, so we can see what's going on. Okay, now this is going to be pretty reasonable to integrate. We know how to do this. So if I bring this b, uh, b minus a out, because it's not respect to x at all, so I can do one over b minus a, and then continue to integrate with just x to the r, which is just going to be a simple power rule. So now let's go straight into it, 1 over b minus a, and then if we integrate x to the r, obviously using the power rule, we have x to the r plus 1, and then we divide that by the new power, which is simply r plus 1. And our ranges of integration are from A to B. Okay, so all we've got to do now is wherever we see the X, we plug in our A or a B and subtract the difference. So we've got 1 over B minus A. So first of all, let's do the B. So B to the R plus 1. And then we subtract from that our a to the r plus 1. Now you'll see here that I've deliberately missed out the r plus 1 on the bottom, so I'm simply just going to divide both of these by r plus 1. And that is good enough to give us our expected um, raw moments for each of these. But what I could do is I could just bring this r plus 1 outside just to make it look a little bit tight, tidier. So it's 1 over b minus a r plus 1. So that can come out. And then we have a b to the r plus 1 minus a to the r plus 1 on the other side. So or I could just simply write that on the top, which I'm going to do. So now we've got a b to the r plus 1 minus a to the r plus 1. Okay, so that's our expected moments for our uniform distribution. So now I'm going to rub this out, put this solution up on the side, 
and then we continue them finding our mean. Okay, so I've written our solution over here to find our raw moments. And I've left the formula here so we can see what's going on. So I just put a line under these two. So now we're looking for the mean. Now the mean we know is e to the x. So that's our expected value of our x. Now here we've got x, which is just x to the power of 1. So our r is 1. So this is just going to be the same as this formula here. But where we see an r, we just plug in a 1. So this is going to be b. So I'm going to write the r's in there with the substitution of 1. So you can see what's going on. So that's 1 plus 1 minus a also to the 1 plus 1, just to keep it as clear as possible. And then a b minus a and then a 1 plus 1 here. Okay, so that's pretty simple. We can see clearly what's going on. We can just simplify this up straight away. So now we've got b squared minus a squared. And then on the bottom, we've got b minus a times 2. So I'll just bring this 2 to the front there. Okay, so here we've got the difference of 2 squares. So we can change this to b minus a, b plus a. So that's how we can write the two squares. So b squared, we've got the a squared, that's the minus a squared. And then we've got a plus ab and a minus ab, which cancel out to leave us with the b squared minus a squared. That's really handy. And then we just divide that by 2 times b minus a. And now we've got an easy cancellation here now. b minus a, b minus a. So now all we're left with now is b plus a over 2. And then that's our expected value, otherwise known as our mean. So now I'm going to write this over here, rub this out, and then we'll have a look at the variance. Okay, so we've got our expected value, otherwise known as our mean. So now we need to find our variance. Now, we don't know anything about our parameters, but we can still go ahead with without those parameters, because what we do know this formula here. If we know e of x squared, we can say the variance of x equals e of x squared, so the second raw moment, that's e of x squared, and we substitute from that our mean, which is then squared. Or you could write this another way, e of x squared, our second raw moment, minus our mean squared. These are the same things, uh, but just written in a different format. But this one, we can use this using our formula for raw moments. So first of all, e of x squared, we can take from this formula here. So let's do that. So we've got, let's underline that, e of x squared. So now all I have to do is plug in a 2 where I see the r. So this is b to the 2 plus 1 minus a to the 2 plus 1. And then we subtract that, b minus a, and then 2 plus 1 again. So now we just simplify this off b cubed minus a cubed and then b minus a times 3. So 3 times b minus a. Okay, so now what we need to do is find our e to the x squared. So let's go straight for that. So e to the x squared Remember, we're not putting the 2 in here to find the second raw moment. We just want the mean squared. So this is just the same as our mean squared. So all we need to do now is square this. So this equals b plus a squared over 2 squared. 
which is the same as b plus a all squared over 4. Okay, so now we've got this formula here. I'm just going to write these over here and then we can continue then finding our variance. Okay, so I've got our e of, to the x squared here and our e of x squared here. So now we're ready to just to plug into this formula and find our variance. So I'm just going to start along here because we're going to need quite a bit of space here. So just bringing this equal sign down here, and this is for our v of x. So we've got e of x squared is b cubed minus a cubed. And that's 3 times b minus a. And then we subtract from that our b plus a squared over 4. Okay, so we need to try and do something with this uh, b cubed minus a cubed. Now that's the difference between two cubed. So we can rewrite that. If we factor out a b minus a, that will leave us with a b squared plus ab plus a squared. And then that will leave us three b minus a on the bottom as before. Now that's coming really handy factoring it like that because the b minus a, b minus a top and bottom, we can see where that's going to go. And then the b plus a squared, well that's just an old fashioned foiling way as he did in elementary maths. So now we've got minus, put this all in brackets, b squared plus, so you get 2ab and then plus a squared. And that's going to be all over four. Okay, so simplifying this off, those two can cancel, that's fine. So now we're left with this term here and this term here. This one's over three, this one's over four, so we just need to find a common denominator. So a common denominator is just going to be 12. So now we can put everything over 12. Oof. So now we've got 4b squared plus ab plus a squared. And then this side we're going to multiply by 3. So I might have a little bit more room. So minus 3 times b squared plus 2ab plus a squared. Okay, so now hopefully there's some sort of cancellation can go on here. So if you distribute a 4 inside here with the b squared and distribute the 3 inside here with the b squared here, we'll have a 4b squared minus a 3b squared. So that's going to just leave us with our b squared. And obviously the denominator will stay as a 12. Let's, so that's taking care of that one and that one. So now let's have a look at the 4 with the ab and the 3 with the 2ab. So we've got 4ab minus 3 times 2ab. So that's 4ab minus 6ab. So that's just going to be simply minus 2ab. So minus 2ab. And now let's have a look at distributing with the a squared. So that's a 4a squared. And minus a 3a squared. So 4b, uh, so 4a squared minus 3a squared is simply my um, simply plus a squared. Okay, so b squared minus 2ab plus a squared over 12. Now we can simplify this up a little bit. This simply looks like b minus a squared. So it's just b minus a squared, b minus a, b minus a. So foiling the b's and the a's, that will give us a b squared, minus a squared will give us plus a squared. And then the b of minus a and a minus a and a b, that's just going to give us minus 2ab. Okay, so we can simply rewrite this now. So this now leads us to b minus a 
squared over 12. And that is equivalent to our variance. Okay, so our variance is b minus a squared over 12, and we've got our expected value of b plus a over 2. And we've worked that out from our raw moments using this integral formula here. Okay.